Hey there, bootleggers. Paul here. And today we're going to take a look at one of the most versatile foods available, the crepe. And to help me show you more about this delicious treat, I have a special guest, Chef Jonathan. Bonjour, Paul. Bonjour, Chef. It looks like we're already getting started here with a crepe. Uh, to get us started, can you maybe tell us a little history? Oh, yes. The crepe, they appeared 7,000 years ago in China. 7,000 years yeah. ago, China? And they start to be popular in France only about the beginning of the 13th century. So this is more Chinese than French, is what you're saying? No, I think uh, we find the first crepe in China 7,000 years ago. So, so I can't get one from Panda Express? I don't think so, Paul. Excellent. And okay, so where did you get all your background on the crepe? Oh, I'm a born in Paris. Uh, I'm a Frenchman, born and raised in Paris. I came here five years ago, that's why I stay in, Fran in, in France for 35 years. Uh, 35 years in France. So just being in France, it's like osmosis. You just learn about the crepe? Uh, of course, like you for burger. <laughs> we all know about our burger. I, I couldn't tell you where the burger came from. I, I think it's a World <laughs> Fair thing. <laughs> yes. So uh, w what are we working on right now? I will, uh, I will uh, make you a savory crepe. That's the traditional savory crepe you can find in France. In France. Eggs, ham, and cheese. Eggs, ham, and cheese. So this is a very standard crepe. Yes, that's the standard savory crepe. And what's one of the most unique crepes you've ever made? Uh, the most unique crepe is the, the crepe I like, is the goat cheese, honey, and walnut. That's the most popular crepe Go for myself. Goat mm -hmm. cheese, honey, and walnut. And would that qualify as a savory crepe or a dessert It's crepe? a savory crepe. Okay, so but even with the honey and the sweetness. It's yes, it's still be a savory. You can add a little salad on the top if you want. Oh, it sounds delicious. I might want to try one of those at some point. But what is it that makes a good crepe? You know, the most important for cooking crepe is the good cooking with good ingredients. Everything has to be organic, you have to use brown eggs, buy the best flour, use a very good milk, that's the key. Okay, for making. so brown eggs, what makes, what's the big difference between a brown egg and your standard white egg that you get from the store? Oh, it's the quality of the eggs. I never cook anything with white eggs. Never with white eggs? Never. Okay. And so, what, what's your inspiration here as you're making these crepes? Oh, you know, um, my inspiration is all the different culture they have in the U.S. I like to uh, put some Italian culture, Indian, Mexican. They have so many different cultures in the U.S. That's, I just have to choose what culture I like, and I choose, and I make it. So you mentioned Indian. You can even make like a curry crepe? Curry crepe, of course. Excellent. Is, is there, are there limits to what we could put on our crepe? No limit. Absolutely not? Absolutely no limit. Only you put the ingredients you like, and that would be great. Uh, you know, I went to this pizza place. They just lumped a big lava pastrami on top of it. Can we do anything? Of course. We can do pineapple. I know you are a big fan of pineapple, Paul. I, I am a big fan of pineapple. What about you? When it comes to pizza or crepes, do you like your pineapple or oh, no? I'm French, Paul. Please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is delicious. We got the egg. Can we get a zoom in on this? Oh, my God. This is fantastic. And so what's the other variety of crepe we're going to make today? You know, um, in tradition, we eat two crepe. We eat one savory and one sweet. I make the traditional savory crepe, and now I will make the traditional sweet crepe. Is of course Nutella banana. Uh, Nutella banana. Okay, let's get it started. Can you walk us through the process that you're going to yes. do here? You have to. Uh, uh, you have to cook. You have to flip the crepe. You have to cook both sides. The, the difference between the savory and the sweet, you cook both sides for the sweet. Okay. Because so the savory, you have to cook inside for. Alors, you don't have anything to cook in the sweet crepe, just the crepe. Got it. So with the uh, sweet crepes, we do flip it. We spread it out really thin here. So yes. That's the difference you can find between pancake and crepe. It's probably almost the same ingredient. I don't really know the proportion. But you, of course, you have more milk to make more liquid and after to cook more tea. Okay. So the milk to thin it out and make it nice and thin. And uh, what's your favorite crepe? Oh, you know, I, I like everything with cheese. I'm a big cheese fan too. I think everybody in America. I and but I'm I'm a big fan of the Nutella banana too. You know, for this for the dessert crepe, it's is a hit. You know. Speaking oh, thank of you, which, Paul. I think we have some Nutella here yes. that we have to get ready. And do you want me to get started on this? Banana? Oh, that would be great, Paul. Thank, thank you, you very much. Bet. So I'm gonna peel it from the back side so I don't get that little black nub. It thank really you. Paul. Peels easily this way too. You'd be surprised. And free banana just like that. Um, Thank you. There goes our banana peel. 
You can put it on the crepe. Thank you, Paul. I can put the banana on yeah, the crepe? Yeah, of course. You go ahead. Just lay it on there like That's that? That's perfect. Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs> That's fantastic. Will we wrap it up? I'll take oh, that from let me you. Just, let me just to cook the banana. Okay, we got to slice it up a little bit. Yes. And so you're running a, a catering service with this. Yes. If we wanted to get in touch with you, how would we do that? Oh, you can find uh, by Facebook Yelp or by my uh, website, LaParisCreperie.com. LaParisCreperie.com. And that's everything on Facebook, Twitter. It's all the same? It's all the same. Fantastic. There's the plate. Thank you, Paul. Oh, we're going to dive into this in a minute here. Those of you at home, I'm sure you can't wait to get in touch uh, with Jonathan. Some whipped cream? Special ingredients, even. Everything's better with whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Bon appétit, Paul. Thank you, Jonathan. And thank everyone at home for joining us again at the Speakeasy Bakery. I've been your host, Paul Burt. Now I'm going to get into these crepes. Bye. Merci. <laughs> It's a beautiful